Spring has once again sprung on us and has given oh, us one of the no anime. seasons of anime in a while. I mean, how could I not be excited in a season with more Konosuba, Slime, Mushoku Tensei, but I love look, slime. I'm a reformed man now. Maybe. Wait, there's another Mushoku Tensei season? Is this the one where his dick actually works? It doesn't all have to be about isekai or degeneracy. Maybe it's time for some wholesomeness. And what could be more wholesome than a loving couple raising their cute little baby boy? It's 2024 now, nothing wrong with- Why the f*** would I want to watch that? With some feel-good BL anime and- Oh, they're talking about alphas and omegas and pheromones. Oh, I think I've- seen this somewhere before omega is the lowest ranking species in the omegaverse alphaverse universe omega tend to have a strong sweet scent heat, which are cycles of arousal when the body is ready for they need to be knotted, where an alpha has am i crazy or like has there not been a good anime in so long it's ridiculous sex with them and comes in i swear to god anime is getting worse is the smell of an omega in heat why? You know what? Never thought I'd say this. Jojo fans seem pretty straight right now. What, <laughs> what the f? Did Opera GX bad? Yeah, I swear to God, yeah, Google Chrome is the Chrome only good browser. Okay, let's go together. I got box wine. Rum. Ever clear. Woo! Peach snaps. Triple sec. Just to make it right. Peach vodka. Triple sec. <laughs> and there you have it, homeboy! Good. Uh. Oh, no, this is some old school shit. A remake of Bartender? Even when the first one aired eight 18 years ago? This already felt like a pretty underground anime. How the f*** is 2006, 18 years ago, bro? What happened? Anime back in the day, but this show was an absolute vibe. Even though I couldn't even drink in England when it was first airing. Even though I couldn't even legally drink in England when it was first airing. It's a radio, you muppets. On theme, if you're looking for a nightcap show, this is it. You have different characters at a bar going through their own daily troubles, and a bartender who can serve you the perfect drink in that exact moment based on his own deductive reasoning and observation skills. So basically, he's the Sherlock Holmes of getting wankered. But that's not the only thing getting a remake, because Spice and Wolf is back. Yes, THE Spice and Wolf. Wait, I heard of this show. Wait, ain't this shit like goaded as f Now this was a widely beloved show back in the day and one of my personal favorites, but I heard people reminder, fucking lose their mind over this out, shit. George W. Bush was still president of the United States. We are not talking to the same anime fans anymore, so let me explain this in a way that the current generation can understand. Okay, hold on a second. <clears throat> All right, fam, hear me out. Let me yap a bit about the hottest shit that just dropped since the Grimace shake. Spice and <laughs> I ain't playing when I say this shit. Be goaded, no cap. So it's Did I miss the days where people would take one sip of the Grimace shake and then get bukkakied by purple goo, man? That trend was nuts. It's about our bro craft here. Absolute Riz Lord Look Maxer on his Sigma grind set trying to chase that paper as some traveling merchant type. Yep. He's a man about that bread. No wheat. One day, bro pulls up and finds Bay hiding in his ride. Mm -hmm. Bay be acting like she'd be made in Ohio before proclaiming that she is Holo, the wise wolf god. Top G of the land and certified level 10. Yeah. Bro thinks she'd be capping, to which Bay claps back with, now nah, I'd win. And shows off her okay. limited edition Fortnite skin, persuading bro into letting her slide with him. Vibe check. The show be about bro and Bay skibbity bopping from different towns, speaking fluent Japanese to each other with the faint promise that one day he'll slide into her DMs. Not selling you yet? Alright. Peep game and lock in. One word. Economics. <laughs> now that topic may sound like El Riz, but hold on, let it cook. By just yapping, bro is able to stack some mad paper by phantom taxing these NPCs with- Is it bad that I understand all of this? Like, am I am I just immature or am I just one of the people? Bro's thousand IQ levels in Hustlenomics because he knows to always bet on Hakari. This sounds sus, but trust me, this yapping be teaching you more than you'd ever learn in Hustlers University. In conclusion, the show is 10 out of level 10 Gats give it a higher W Riz with a grimace shake. Uh, now, if you think those two shows were a blast from the past, we're just getting started with some of the other sequels coming out. I, I will be watching Spice and Wolf. I, I, I heard it just sounds way too cute, bro. Animation is actually making a season three. <laughs> No. We've got some of the most beloved and highly anticipated fantasy anime coming back for another season. Yes, sir! Demon Slayer, Eurocamp is back with- Should I watch Slime? Is it- is it good? How- how good is how I got reincarnated as Slime from 1 to 10? I'll be real, I watched a bit of it. 
I got to the part where they repair like the goblin village. And it was like, okay. It's very happy, very yappy. Ooh, it's like an eight. Okay, maybe I'll watch it. Which means so is the economy of the Yamanashi Prefecture. My Hero is in a seventh season now. Seventh season. Ushoku Tensei is continuing with Rudy realizing he is actually a fate fan by proving he is the bone of his sword. Black Butler? We're getting more Black Butler? What is Why? happening right now? Bartender, Spice and Wolf, Hibiki Euphonium, Black Butler? What am I, my college years again? And wait, they're giving us more no game, no life? Wait. No. What? This is not more no game, no life. Uh, this has the games. This has the color palette. But there's no uncomfortably incestuous relationship between the main duo. I guess. And thank God, because the no game, no life shit was weird as f. I guess that's something from 2014 that we're not going to see revived this season. Oh, what the f? Okay, what do we have here? The launch of 7G? Well, lads, better get those towers running before the Brits try to burn them down. Haha. <laughs> what the f? I knew it! I never trusted those 7G towers! This one's a weird one, and I'm not quite sure how to describe it. 7G towers cause the f***ing apocalypse, everyone above a certain age gets transformed into talking animals for some reason, and a bunch of girls decide to travel through the wastelands of this ruined world, connecting through the last remnants of civilization. Oh my god, it's a strand type anime. At first I thought this was gonna be a girl's last tour kind of deal. Cute girls vibing- Is this the already out? Setting, but I don't know. Something about the vibe seems kind of off, and I'm half expecting some kind of dark twist to hit at any moment. Oh, put tie dye gang mark. Unnamed memory. Looks like we got some kind of deceptively old but still absolutely adorable witch. Sounds being depressing as fuck. Absolute giga chad of a prince, hoping she can help him break a curse that causes anyone he marries to die. Yes, this is a man blessed with infinite riz, but cursed with no bit. The solution she comes up with? Marry a girl strong enough to withstand the curse. <laughs> Uh-oh. Average Twitter user. This man is one scene away from a ukulele apology video. This seems like it's going to be one of those dialogue-heavy shows that relies on witty banter and chemistry between the main duo and their developing romance. And hey, this is also endorsed by the ReZero creator himself, which could mean this can turn into something really good, or he just really, really likes witches. Speaking of cute romances, we have an absolutely adorable love story guaranteed to warm the heart about a socially awkward demon lord who has absolutely no interest in women falling in love at first sight with a cute, innocent elf girl. Aww. She's apprehensive about his intentions at first, but he's so socially inept that he can't properly express his feelings. But slowly, over time, they come to understand one another and really start to care about each other. Oh, okay, that sounds pretty cute. Yeah, you know, it's just a really wholesome romance about a slave and her owner. What? What? The Fable. Okay, this is a title I've heard some great things about. A world-class assassin is forced to go into hiding and live a normal life and Looks has to learn awesome. how to use his very particular set of skills to solve every wacky situation he's involved in without killing anyone. Just basically John Wick if it was a comedy set in the Yakuza universe. Everyone, and I mean everyone I've met who's read the manga only has amazing things to say about this which of course means this was cursed to have the dullest blandest looking anime adaptation you could ask for True. i'm just saying shows like this that give read the manga bros the fuel to wake up in the morning and continue to be an absolute menace to society i really don't understand why people were excited about the solo leveling anime when it's like bro just read the manhua it looks better like why even want a berserk anime when the manga is just gonna look better like it's better, you can, it looks better, and it reads way faster. So your amount of enjoyment goes through the roof. I mean, maybe you don't have a imagination, but like, when I read a manga, like, I still hear the character voices, I still hear the sounds, I see the people fighting, because I have a imagination. Like, I, I don't know how everybody else be reading this, shit, but like, I, I don't know how, how their brain works. The voices? Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, wow. A show about women's bicycle racing. I wonder what this is going to be like. Maybe I'm just schizophrenic. Damn. What an amazing show about women's bicycle racing. I wonder what pressing topic anime will tackle next. Ah, woman basketball. <laughs> 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 okay, enough of this seasonal filler crap. Let's see some of the heavy hitters. Uh, Kaiju number eight. The hottest new Shonen Jump adaptation that is looking like it's going to be the hot new talk of the town. I'm so worried that this 
It's going to be ass because I've heard it hyped up so much. It can only go down for me. IG are once again looking like they're bringing their A game. Production values look damn good. Somehow they've got Youngblood doing the opening and freaking Young Republic. The opening was terrible. Like doing the ending. Konnichiwa, Japan. It looks like some high profile people have put a lot of chips into this production. So let's see what they've been cooking. What the f is that? You can milk anything with nipples. We've got a world getting invaded by kaijus, a special task force of super soldiers who hunt them down, an old man protagonist at the decrepit age of 32 who gets Stop. turned into a mini kaiju Stop. and applies to join the very task force that's supposed to hunt him down. It's a shonen action show, you know how it goes down, but I'll say it's goddamn refreshing to see a hot shonen jump show that has a mature, older protagonist as opposed to the millionth teenage high schooler. Somehow True. this anime is premiering on Twitter. <laughs> okay. Him putting it that way makes me want to watch it way more. Excuse me. <coughs> Every week, so I can't wait to see such riveting discourse about this show, such as this episode was mid and pussy in bio. Check out this show about a kaiju that beats up other kaijus. If you need a change of pace from ghoul that beats up other ghouls, titan that beats up other titans, devil that beats up other devils, and of course, dip shit that beats up other dip shit. But yep. if that's not enough, here's the other action show to look out for. Sentai Daishikaku, or Go Go Loser Rangers, takes place I in a world watch where the monster but I have a feeling it's gonna be lame as fuck. But the concept have been transformed seems so cool. Into a commercialized event where the Rangers, who are secretly arrogant assholes abusing their powers, fight scripted battles against powerless goons who are forced to enact humiliating defeat after defeat every yeah, so it's the boys. every single week to a crowd that is none the wiser. But one day, one of the goons has had enough. So what if he's just cannon fodder? So what if he's completely powerless against the might of the asshole rangers? He's gonna find a way to take down his oppressors and restore the balance of power. In short, this is the boys, but with- There it is. Power rangers. Morphin time! Triceratops! Saber two tiger! Oh bro, don't make me nostalgic. I'm saying that's a portal to another world. Two tigers! Tyrannosaurus! So you're saying that's a portal to another world? Yes. Think carefully about this. You'd be saying goodbye to your loved ones, your life. You're gonna leave behind everyone you know, everyone you've ever loved. Geronimo! Well, what better way to start the isekai train than the cute little Moe reverse isekai comedy? Start you know the other problem is? I just don't want to pull up Crunchyroll because it's so f bad. Like these days, if the anime isn't on Netflix, I just don't want to watch it. Like there's nowhere to watch anime in good quality anymore. It's so irritating. Like, that's why, that's why I only read manga. Pirate it? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need somebody to walk me through that guide when I end stream. Okay, I'll, I'll probably join the Discord. Maybe somebody can walk me through it. Starring an older, mature detective becoming the unwilling partner to some cute little dipshit anime girl. This feels like the spiritual successor to Hinamatsuri with an extra dash of... Because nothing screams Hinamatsuri like cute girls doing homeless things and nothing screams... Like... Yep. Domestic terrorism. Hey, coming right after the start of my Manwa brain rot journey. Because if you think that every isekai has slavery, get ready for Manwa showing that the entire population of Korea has experienced every case of bullying that has ever been documented in the history of mankind. Here's a guy starting a YouTube career by learning how to throw hands against his bullies and uploading it. As a YouTuber, this is totally unrealistic. I mean, clearly this content would get instantly demonetized, age restricted, possibly community striked. There is no way anyone would be able to make a single cent off this, let alone an online career. How the hell? am I supposed to take this serious? Okay, actually, now this is totally believable. I wonder what the actual recommended way to deal with bullies is. How to deal with bullies. If you're being bullied, reach out to an adult that you know and trust. There's a lot of ways to get that. It looks so good! Wait, what show tell is that? Adult. Or, if you feel safe to do so, tell the bully to stop. If everyone works together... What show is that? Windbreaker? This looks sick! What the f Holy f What is this show Windbreaker, about? Windbreaker, another delinquent anime whose manga is apparently inspired by Tokyo Revengers. Which makes Holy me feel kind of bad, because this single fight scene is already leagues above anything the Tokyo Revengers anime- Wait, Tokyo Ghoul, but the main character isn't a- Pussy? Anime is showcased in three seasons. I'm not normally too big on this genre, but if the production values continue like this, I might- Hold up, let me rewind. 30 seconds. Tell an adult. Or, if you feel safe to do so, tell the bully to stop. If everyone works together-
Windbreaker, another delinquent anime whose manga is apparently inspired by Tokyo Revengers. Which makes me feel kind of bad because this single fight scene is already leagues above anything the Tokyo Revengers anime has showcased in three seasons. I'm not normally too big on this genre, but if the production values continue like this, I might just have to stick it out. I think what I found most amusing about this isn't actually the fighting or violence, it's the idea of a street full of grown adults cheering their hearts out at the sight of a bunch of kids beating the shit out of each other. All in all, just another average day for Birmingham yeah. Revengers. <sighs> I'm not normally too big on this genre, but if Back. the production values continue like this, I might just have to stick it out. I think what I found most amusing about this isn't actually the fighting or violence. It's the idea of a street full of grown adults cheering their f***ing hearts out at the sight of a bunch of kids beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> all in all, just another average day for Birmingham yeah. Revengers. That looks f***ing dope. All right, we're watching Windbreaker 100%. 100% we'll watch. You know what? I might just have to give this one a ch- Wait a minute. Is this a- Go back? Go back to what? Going what? nowhere. This one's pretty cute, actually. I'm already liking the chemistry between the main two, and it's a pretty unique setting as well. So you know what? I might just have to give this one a ch- Wait a minute. Is this a- Are they trying to trick me into watching an idol anime? <laughs> nice try, but you're gonna have to do better than that. Girls Band Cry. Alright, I know anime fans are as allergic to CG as I am allergic to pizza crust, but yeah. honestly, this one um, looks alright. Hot take? The crust is the best part. Dude, you just rip off the crust, you take the pizza, you fold it over it, and then you just taste better. Like, there are restaurants where if the crust isn't good, I just don't get the pizza. How the f*** do you not like the crust? Right. Yeah, it's okay. It's not Studio Orange level. Some things look a little rough around the edges, but we've come a long way from Berserk 2016. Especially when yeah. it comes to these micro-expressions and facial animations that give their characters so much more life. Actually, it, it looks, looks like kind of good. finally learning how to work towards their strengths. And, you know, I'm a sucker for music anime. It actually looks pretty good in certain scenes. Especially when it comes to rock music. So, you know what? You CG haters, I'm gonna give this one a chance. This is another idol anime, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you! Huh, this one feels oddly reminiscent. Plain, average looking girl with little romantic interest gives an umbrella to this random person that turns out to be an Ikeman! Ikeman! And then the popular guy suddenly shows interest in her. I mean, it seems like shoujo romances are getting a resurgence recently. And this feels like it's a gender reverse of whatever this genre is. There's Usagi drop with go- <clears throat> There's Barakamon with golf. Ikeman! Ikeman! John, did you- Nuts on the logo what again. the There's fuck is that? Ever-growing Re series. No, Re monster. An isekai with no trucks, no death by overwork. Just a good old-fashioned stabbing. Finally, the Brixton isekai experience has got some representation. All right, so he's reincarnated as a goblin this time. But you know what? I've seen Goblin Slayer. I won't fall for your goblin propaganda. Wait, she's a goblin? Cause she about to be goblin these. Ding, ding, dong, like King Kong. Seventh print. I can't believe that Gart just sexually assaulted that goblin character. I I cannot believe he just sexually assaulted her, man. This is one of those shows that seems self-aware enough to justice. play to a stupidly overpowered protagonist. My lawyers but I can't will be hearing about this. If I leave this running too long in the background, this kid's gonna start telling me that gliding should be faster. We've got another kingdom building isekai, I'm not gonna lie. I saw the first episode of this, it reminded me of the civilization aspect of slime and realist hero. And then I ended up reading every single available chapter in one night. It's pretty good. Hey, you remember that old isekai called Gates? Now presenting nope. the new gate. Well, actually this has nothing to do with Gates. And also, it's not really new, because this is based on the web novel that came out in 2013, um, so... Now presenting the hottest new isekai of the season! The. Alright, alright, that's enough isekai. Wake me up when we get a genre that hasn't already been done to death. Regret yeah, I'll be real, man. Isekais just kind of suck balls now, man. Oh my god, it's a regression anime! Hey bro, have you seen this meme before? Oh, no, I don't usually go on the internet. What's going on? The test is simple. Avert your gaze from the phone. Is there any isekai that's complete where the character, like, finishes the world and then goes back to his to normal life? Like, Mushoko Tensai is done? Okay, so, no, yes, yes, no. What's this? There is this very old anime in 2008. There's just so many isekais where I know, okay, he's never going to beat the main bad guy. He's never going to go back. The story's never going to be finished. It's going to go on forever. Like, I will admit, like, even Konosuba, I I've already given up on, in, uh, oh, God, Kazuma. Like, we all know Kazuma is not going to beat the Demon Lord ever. 
Like, might as well just enjoy the ride, you know? But I, I just wish it wouldn't make... They shouldn't put that overarching plot because it's never going to happen. And you die. What's on the phone? Pain. Pain. The phone. Pain. What the f Kaiju number 8 wasn't enough for your Shonen Jump fix, there's Yozakura Family. This one looks like it's going to be more than Nishen, especially for jump standards. Best way I can describe this is we've got some spy family-esque shenanigans about a poor kid unknowingly becoming a part of and trying to survive some Looney Tunes version of the Zoldic family. We've got Walmart Alphonse Elric, a Hyper Lolly, Siskon Sebastian. Oh, there's a lower accurate gacha gamer. Hey, Blue Archive, <laughs> finally, a gacha game adaptation I'm not familiar with. <laughs> Yet. I'm gonna be real, I recognize way too many of these characters for a f familiar with. <laughs> Yet. I'm gonna be real, I recognize. Bro, this chick, so f fine. Straight up, way so fine. Way too many of these characters. I did not know that this chick was from Blue Archive. Bro, bro. I know this chick too. That chick and the other chick, so fine. This is for a franchise I know absolutely nothing about. When I covered this in my stream, there seemed to be a lot of memes floating around that just went over my head. I've been told that apparently Cunny or something is a big meme in the community, which I assume means these girls are cute and funny, right? Oh my god. Okay, so what are you looking for in this character design? Oh, you know, just something standard for the industry. Understood. Nah, we're not trying to appeal to the Blue Archive fanbase. Got it. Or the Genshin fanbase. No problem. I don't know, it still doesn't look right. You know what? How about you just tell me what you're making here? A VTuber avatar. <laughs> True. True. Gee, I'm glad somebody else caught out these motherfuckers, bro. Holy shit. Perfect. Yada! Your duo so met the moonlight. I've never exactly been quiet about my aversion towards anime centered around cute girls doing cute things, but there have been more than enough examples in recent years that have slowly turned my opinion around to truly get me excited when the right show comes about. And yeah, I thought Boat to the Rock was great. Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night looks to be joining that list. A group of misfits band together, an illustrator that gave up on her passion, a retired idol that wants to prove herself, a composer struggling with her own past, and finally, crackhead Anya who's trying to make her VTubing career work. This gave me a vibe I haven't felt since watching A Place Further Than The Universe. Not a single episode has failed to leave me without the biggest grin on just another show where cute girls do cute things. This is cute girls do amazing things. Setting up what looks to be an awe-inspiring tale about shooting for your dreams. It's shows like these that get me excited that I'm watching an anime original. Not because I can guarantee no spoilers from dickhead manga or light novel readers, but you can <laughs> tell this is a story that has been purely made for the medium of anime, and that feeling shines through the bloody fantastic visual Dope. On top of the opening episodes hitting every single emotional beat without fail. This was one of my standouts for spring and some of the best direction I found in the season so far. Damn, I wonder what else this guy has directed. Holy shit. What the, the is that? The sun has returned. Wait, what the fuck is that? I have no idea what that is. I don't get it. Ding ding dong like King Kong. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much this month too. Author Curtis Eckstein. Wow, very epic, very nice. All right, cool. Hold on, can you see him? My face. This isn't. Hold up. He's being so cute right now, bro. He's just cute, baby. He's just cute, baby. Oh, look at him. He's such a baby. He's such a big baby. Oh, what a waggy. What a leg. Oh, wait. Oh, he's got to be cute again. Hey, oh, you're falling, buddy. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, big eggy. Oh. Oh, the number one cutest cat on the whole planet. Can you believe that? Oh, can you believe that? The goodest kitty in the whole planet. I cannot believe it. Kiss him. Okay.
good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. You want your seat back? There you go, bud. Bro, I love this cat, man. He is just the coolest motherfucker, bro. He's so dope. Like, he's so nice. He follows me everywhere, bro. I love this cat.